Well, hello again, my children. It's time to fling my shit at this skittle-eating motherfucker. But this time, I'm not alone. Introducing to you all my next-door neighbor and that ass, Gloomy Bear. Thank you, Bonzi buddy. I've been wanting to rant on this manipulative liar for a while now. And now it's finally my time to shine. It's time to get down to business. Well then, let's get started and shine some light on this deviant art fuck face, shall we? I'll go first. Rainbow Kitty 101 is a 21 year old who draws Poppy Playtime, Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, and even at one point drew creepy pastas, and even had a comic series of them. Basically, anything that seems to be trendy or popular at this time. Basically, jumping on any bandwagons for attention. Doesn't seem so bad at first, but it's what she's been doing behind the scenes that are major red flags that surprise us. Rainbow was actually a friend of Julian since late 2020 if I'm correct, and for a long time, she actively enabled his behavior until recently. That's a year's worth of enabling his behavior. We know this because in February of 2021, we actually showed her a screenshot of Julian requesting his mom to be thick, and she refused to do anything about it. And recently, one of Julian's victims who I will keep anonymous, said that Julian sexually harassed them in a voice chat, and Rainbow who was in the call, excused Julian because he was mad. Here is a their description of the experience. I will be showing a screenshot now. So basically, she knew of his behavior for a while and didn't do anything about it despite her being a full-grown adult and him being a minor. That is a huge, waving, neon red flag. Are you waving red flag? More like a giant spotlight saying, I'm okay with Julian doing creepy shit. How the fuck, did she not connect the dots or try to hear both sides like a normal adult would? Is she fucking high or something? Is she this fucking stupid or does she doesn't think at all? God! I mean, we're dealing with someone who has drawn for blueberry inflation, pregnancy and so on. What do you expect? An actual rational person. Yeah, good point. She poorly defended Julian by saying he's a great guy and followed up that post with, So what if I like adult art? I like adult things. Which typing or reading it out loud makes me wanna puke. How is she okay with a sick fuck who forced an 11 year old to draw herself naked and moan? Let alone a 14 year old. Fucking sickening. She shouldn't be forgiven this quickly and yet you have people on Twitter defending her for this? I just like to point out the like in the so what if I like adult art. That implies she even likes the shit Julian is doing. Keep in mind that she is 21, and Julian is 14. Yikes. Rainbow has even drawn Maria, which is one of Julian's horny characters who he has drawn a ton of NSFW art of, so she was definitely aware of his horny side. It's also weird how Twitter is defending her, yet they chased an artist named Puppy Chan off for doing a similar thing. So why does Rainbow get to have a pass? Not everyone on Twitter. There are some people who did call her out on her shit and she said she won't be defending Julian anymore. When one user confronted her she started blaming them and tried to get the person's loved one into the situation. Spoilers a loved one even called her out and all Rainbow Kitty did was hit his replies and acted like the victim. I'm glad some people are taking a stand against her and call her out on her disgusting actions. Even a random Toy Story account even joined in to help. I know, sounds weird but a warm welcome, if you ask me. Of course we can't forget how a popular Twitter user named Arthur who is known for his Friday Night Funkin' mods actually called her out when she said how she thought Julian was innocent. Prior to this callout, Rainbow kept refusing when less popular users tried warning her about Julian. She was extremely stubborn and refused to leave his side despite everyone telling her how bad he is. However, when Arthur called her out, she almost instantly switched sides and said how disgusting he was. For someone who defended Julian fiercely, she was rather quick to change sides, wasn't she? We all know why she did it. She's not turning a new leaf. She doesn't want people to find what she has done in her past, let alone what friends with a sick fuck. It's pathetic that she's doing this just so she looks innocent even when there's files on top of files about this power tough girl reject. Romeo. Yes, we can't forget the Rainbow Kitty files. The files where it was revealed that she harassed kids through child porn, made weird comics and caused someone to become suicidal which is really messed up. 
Even if the victim didn't commit suicide contrary to belief, she still made the victim suicidal which is inexcusable especially since she was 19 years old, old enough to know her morals. I read. Hell, her responses to her actions are quite similar to Julian's. Trying to hide it under the rug and using excuses like, quote, it's all in the past, or it doesn't matter anymore because everyone deserves a second chance. We're not gonna take that excuse from Julian, so what makes you so special? Agreed. Not to mention her quote-unquote apologies are terrible as well. She never addresses her controversies and instead just guilt trips and tries making herself look like the victim. Also, it's really funny how she copy and pasted the exact same apology to all her social media accounts. What an attention seeker. Ha 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 ha! Took the words right out of my mouth on that one. Also, the amount of the people who are mindlessly forgiving her despite not knowing what happened shows how dumb her fan base is. They're like a flock of sheep, if you ask me. Hopefully they'll come to their senses and realize how much of a piece of rainbow shit she is. I know some people have dumped her and I can't blame them. If I saw my idol did the shady shit too, I would have left them in the dust as well. Currently, as I'm writing the script, Rainbow has deleted her artwork involving Julian, but she hasn't deleted any of her videos involving him, which is strange. And she knows this deliberately. She constantly updates her playlist, so she's definitely aware of her videos containing Julian. If Rainbow truly hated Julian, why hasn't she deleted any of them? I bet that when this video is uploaded, she will delete her videos involving him to look clean. But psych rainbow, we already downloaded them all, Alameo. Alameo indeed my bloodthirsty friend. Alameo indeed. Plus, we even confronted Rainbow in her Discord server, and how did she respond? By instantly deleting it which is both hilarious and extremely suspicious. She keeps running away from any confrontation, which indicates that either Rainbow may be hiding something or she's too big of a pussy to address drama directly. What do you expect? She hid most of Yoshi's tweets calling her out. It doesn't surprise me that she's this much of a fucking pussy. She hid both Yoshi's tweets and anyone who didn't forgive her. If you were truly apologizing, why are you hiding people who rightfully don't forgive you? Can't wait for her to try to make a shitty apology after this video hits like the lying cocksucker she is, or make a shitty response video. If she does, I laugh my ass off. I think it's safe to say at this point. At best, Rainbow Kitty is extremely irresponsible for enabling Julian's behavior. And at worst, she may actually be a groomer. Think about it, Rainbow has a problem with being friends with groomers and pedophiles, usually excusing them under the anyone can change mindset, so I'm not too surprised if she is indeed a groomer. Like I said before, she said this while defending Julian. So what if I like adult art? I like adult things. Meaning she actually enjoyed a 14-year-old drawing her naked. Plus she drew blueberry inflation slash male pregnancy of Jeff the Killer who is a fucking teenager. Fictional character or not she drew fetish art of a fucking minor. What the actual fuck is wrong with her? Not to mention how she drew Julian's horny OC while being very secretive of her relationship with Julian and won't say anything when confronted. Also she didn't do anything in that previous voice chat. I wouldn't be too surprised if she starts to act like the adult version of Julian. I can see some similarities between these two. Blaming it on their past, friending pedophiles, drawing porn of minors. I'm not too surprised if she gets caught, like Chris Hansen. So basically, Rainbow is a weird ass and her actions are extremely concerning and disgusting. By the way, this doesn't make Julian in the right either if he did indeed get groomed by Rainbow. He still groomed an 11-year-old to do sexual things for him and that is inexcusable. Yeah, gross. Now then, before we end this video, anything else you want to say, Bonzi? Actually, I do. First off I wanna say is that Rainbow Kitty, if you're watching this video, do me and the rest of us a favor and get the fuck off the internet and go to therapy or better. Turn yourself into the police! Second, I would like to thank you, Gloomy Bear, for helping out with this video and shining some light on this Lollaluki fuck stick. And finally, if you are a fan of Rainbow Kitty, understand that she's not gonna change, and if she does, she's only trying to make herself look good. Once again, thank you, Gloomy Bear, for helping me with this video. No problem, Bonzi. Anyways, let's get out of here because I sense Rainbow having a huge tantrum if she finds out about this. Thank you all for watching. Gloomy Bear. Signing out. Time to chimp out fuckers!